Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Burger of the Week. And this week, we're in downtown Nederland at a burger joint I'm told is the boss, the Boss Burger. The first time you walk into this legendary local eatery, it doesn't take long for owner Joe Oates to give you a hearty welcome. At your service live in your face it's safe to say he's a bit boisterous are we on now or joe is one wild and crazy guy hey 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 I'm, don't go nowhere come back here yeah sit back down for a minute okay <laughs> we all love him to death see it wouldn't be me if i wasn't me i say it's dinner and a show with joe you know <laughs> so never a dull moment mary is his partner in life years ago she was a maid of honor at my first wedding in 1989. <laughs> Okay. Well, the Lord does work in mysterious ways. I knew she was going to be the one when we had a motorcycle accident, our first, our second, second week of dating. We took the, we took the bike and ran it off and slid it off into a ditch, into a muddy ditch. And she said, chalk this off to the bucket list. It is a wild roller coaster ride, never a dull moment, let me tell you. Together, they started Boss Burger out of a trailer but decided to make it a destination in downtown. Coming here the last year every day is kind of like a six-year-old at Christmas time for me. Born on the East Coast, Joe has come a long way over the years after spending the majority of his life offshore, cooking for fishing vessels and offshore rigs in the Gulf. You get compliments by 45 guys three times a day and good job, and I'm getting paid to do what I like to do, which is cook. But when he came back to shore... Been 100 proof women and 90 proof whiskey. <laughs> it just sounds really good. <laughs> Joe didn't really have a place to call home. Eventually, he got his life together, thanks to faith, friends, and food. There was a time in my life if I walked into the police station, they'd want to take my picture. And, and today I walk down into the police station and they want to have their picture taken with me. How cool is that? Do you know? Definitely, he's the crazier one. I, I'm the one that has kind of calmed him down. Good people with good motives and, and obviously good food. He has a big heart and I think it shows. Joe is very passionate about food. And we're here for a burger top with, of all things, apples. An apples on a burger, man, it just don't sound right. So what would convince someone to try a burger like that? Joe's got a pretty good argument. The one constant in the world that will keep a man in everlasting ignorance is contempt prior to investigation. Well, like the great Rodney Carrington said, there's things you can try and there's things you don't try. You try ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Who am I to say no? So we start with prime rib and chuck roast. Butcher shop fresh, we got it. Last Thursday, your hamburger patty was still walking across the field making patties. <laughs> Once we got our half pound patty, Joe throws it on the grill. One last little patty together. You wanna get it? You gotta worry about shrinkage. Did you hear that thing pun? A not so fancy bun is toasted. We're not artsy fartsy. Yeah, you were That's, joking about this. Uh, just bun. straight up. Just a regular bun. The star of the show is the burger, it's not the, the, it's not the, it's bread. Not the bread. Once it's cooked, Joe's own recipe, known as the Berkeley sauce, is busted out. So here comes the Berkeley sauce. This is the Berkeley sauce. Now this is our maple flavored bacon, Granny Smith apples, sweet yellow onions, pure maple syrup, and that's it. Well, it's the only chance I'll ever get to go to Berkeley, so let's go to Berkeley. Let's go to Berkeley. All right. So here's the Berkeley, freshly ground beef with that apple, bacon, Berkeley sauce, and cheese. A simple burger with an incredible topping we've never seen on the Texas bucket list. So we will go ahead and close up that burger and go in for a Berkeley bite. Oh, it feels so warm. Turns out this burger is the apple of my eye. An incredible combination of flavors with that sweet apple and that savory bacon mixing in with those onions, mixing together with that freshly ground beef. And the bun, don't worry about it, because it's all about what's in here. It's one of the best burgers I've ever had. I would definitely say this burger is ripe for the picket. Oh, it's awesome. Sometimes it's apple pie, sometimes it's burger. One thing's for sure, it's all good. I'm going to use the word awesome third time in the interview, but it is very good burger. While Joe might have a seedy past, Boss Burger has ripened his life, and he's making the most of it. I've never belonged to anything. You know, now I've got a girl, I've got a house, a couple of dogs, a business, I belong to some motorcycle organizations, the Chamber of Commerce, a couple of churches, 
We drive down the town and people honk and wave. Oh my God. Oh, because of hamburger. Well, for a burger, that's the Boston Niederland. The Berkeley at Boss Burgers is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. We love Boss Burgers. We're partial here in Niederland, but yes, it is a good bargain. I mean, heck, man, we're the place of Janice Joplin and Joe Oates. <laughs> And now for your Texas listening pleasure, here are the Powell Brothers with Coming Home. Oh, 